Hey guys, this is Sims 3 Copper Fox bringing you the next episode of the all-in-one Let's Play. And as you can see, we are in a totally different place. I swear, every time I record an episode, we are in a new house every single time. However, this is not permanent. I think the house that we were in last time is going to be their permanent home, the one that's got like the five bedrooms and it's gigantic and it's in Moonlit Falls. I think that's going to be their permanent home. But after the death of Kiki, uh, it just... Leland was a mess and they decided they would try to go back to Island Paradise for a little bit where they originated from and just kind of get away. They brought the entire family including River and they just you know he did tell Isla, that the, Isla before that they would come back and uh, so they're just taking a little vacation here. I don't plan to record here for more than like two or three episodes. It also depends on how well it lets me record here. It might be terrible. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the house though, because that is generally what I do. This is the outside view. I actually did build this entire house myself from the ground. Well, the platform was already there, like this thing. And there was a different house on it. I tore it down and just reconstructed my own pickup pet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go down. It's three stories. Um, this, okay, game, you need to be nice to me or I'm going to freak out. Okay, this is what it looks like when you are walking in. This is the front door. And it's got, again, you guys know how I love my modern houses for these people and my very open windowed everything so the house is similar to the one that i had before uh however sadly my game didn't save that houseboat so i had to build a brand new one and i actually liked the first one a lot more but this one's more spacious and it kind of suits their needs better than the other one did so kind of same scenario bottom floor has a kitchen and apparently i forgot to recolor this rug over here because i did not mean for it to be pink but it happens we'll fix that later um, we just have a basic kitchen here i didn't really want to go too crazy with the kitchen um, i put like a coffee maker though there's a little open area to go up the stairs to the side there i liked covering the stairs up and not leaving them as like a fixture in the middle of the house i kind of did that with all the staircases so i thought that was just kind of a new addition that i started doing and then of course we have waterfall placements in here for isla the usual uh there's the tv loungy area it's not very big cat litter box dining table that's a lot bigger than the ones they usually have because there are more people now um, and then on the ground floor i kind of always do this to river <laughs> i feel i do this to her a lot uh, i put her bedroom downstairs away from everyone else's because she's trouble we know she's trouble and we just kind of try to keep her separate from the family as much as possible however she does have a bad relationship with archimedes but i purposely set food bowls here so like i guess archimedes could be not nice to her if he wanted to be because they don't like each other and out on the back here there's a hot tub couple chairs couple more chairs a cat bed if the cats want to come lounge a bar um, so that's all the ground floor. And then I've actually been really excited to share this house with you guys. I spent probably a good like five or six hours building this. So even though it's tiny, it did take a long time. Okay, let me put the walls up again so you guys can see all the wallpaper and stuff. Uh, so again, I cornered off the stairs right here because I just really liked that. Here's kind of like a cat area, sitting area where they can look out the window, play. There's another cat bed or dog bed, but we don't have a dog. Uh, here is Ava's room. She just, it's kind of basic. I didn't really spend a lot of time doing her room. Uh, but let me go ahead and put these down again. Oh, whoa. Well. Oh no, I guess that's how I wanted it. Okay. So this is her room. Just has a bed, a couple little toys, a dresser, a lamp, and then she has her own personal bathroom. I also really, really like leaving bathrooms very open, like when they're connected to bedrooms. So the bathroom, she can just walk straight in there. There's no door or anything. I think if I ever built my own house in real life in the master bedroom, this is totally how I would do it. Like leave it completely open to the bedroom and just lock the door to the bedroom when need be. So I just really like that. I think it, it looks really cool. Then coming over onto this side, oh, I put a hopscotch in the middle for Ava because maybe she's going to get like boat fever and be sick of being inside. Um, 
this is kind of like the conductor boat driver thing. I just put this in a glass case for now because we probably will never really use it and it doesn't let you delete it. So I just kind of put it there. Uh, this is, oh, I guess I didn't realize I had more cat stuff in here. You could tell this family loves their cats. Um, this room is probably the one room that really needs more work above all other rooms in the house. Uh, this is supposed to be Le Leland's study area. Uh, I haven't even put a computer in yet, but it's got bookshelves, cat stuff, and then a desk and a chair. And then this room actually is locked to everybody but Leela, Leland and Isla. And the reason for that, I mean, the animals can come in here too, but the reason I locked it is it has its own personal staircase that goes upstairs and into the master suite that, guess what? They currently share. Uh, you guys saw in the last episode how they kissed and stuff. They're still not boyfriend and girlfriend, but they do now. I mean, they've been cohabitating for a while, but they actually do sleep in the same bed now. And uh, so the master suite is for both of them kind of keeping that modern manly feel I guess uh it's got a bookcase all modern furniture mostly from uh I think late night and into the future is where most of this stuff is from so a couple seating areas there uh bookshelf a platformed bed I put like a platform down here for their bed to be raised a little bit uh, fish tank because we know how Leland loves animals telescope for Leland and painting easel for Isla and another waterfall coming out this way there is a balcony off of their room they are the only ones that have that uh, another seating area another waterfall and then I did the same thing that I did to Ava's bedroom where the bathroom is connected and I believe it's completely open as well let me check that yeah it's completely open there's an arch and excuse me they can just walk straight in so and there's like a dual sink oh you know what I, I tried to put this house together as quickly as I could but still wanted to make it look nice and I definitely forgot a few minor things so I did forget to put mirrors in here that's something that I usually do let me go ahead and just put one up in the middle that will work and I have my reflections turned off because my game doesn't like it so that's why there's no reflection um Oh, there's also a door that goes out to the balcony from the bedroom and the bathroom. So that is pretty cool. And I think that's it. Yeah, and then you come upstairs and the ceiling is like all glass, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about their bathroom being all glass on the ground. Because like if they were ever naked or something, you could totally see them from downstairs. But I don't know if the Sims concern themselves with that too much. Uh, while I'm in here, I'm actually going to go ahead and also put a computer in the study for Leland. So let's go ahead and do that. And actually, I think we have more money than we had previously because I had them sell the furniture from the last house. And then when we move, I'm going to actually refurbish it and stuff and make it all pretty like. So this is the house we're working with now. Hopefully my game isn't too freezy while we're here and yeah we're just gonna spend probably a couple episodes here and then we'll go back to the other house so that is that let's go ahead and play this and see how everyone is ava is downstairs playing with peaches and i gotta tell you i am not bringing that thing to life i'm just not um if you guys ever watched arabella she has this whole thing where she let the imaginary friend come to life for her child and then it like would not go away like she would try to make her sim go to the bathroom and it couldn't go because peaches would show up or it wasn't peaches it was named something else but the imaginary friend would not go away so uh i'm gonna not do that i'm gonna not bring that to life and not bring that bad juju in here so i'm gonna go ahead and send ava up to her room and I would really like to actually work a little bit on Leland and Isla's relationship. Like maybe we could get them to boyfriend, a girlfriend status. So I'm going to bring them up to their little private room and have them kind of chat for a little bit and see where that goes. Hopefully they'll be upstairs soon. Whoops. It makes me so sad that this world is so, oh, we don't care if the mascot is here sorry uh, it makes me really sad that this 
this town is so glitchy. And I know that a lot of people report having problems with this town. Oh, we also need to name the cats. You guys gave me wonderful suggestions. Let me go ahead and do this now. So, um, this one is the girl, I believe. So, we'll go ahead and... Wait, isn't there a way that I can name them? How do I do that? Crap. Guys, how do I name them? I don't remember. <gasps> um, do I have to, like, be... Do I have to do something? Do I have to not be them? Uh, no. Oh, they're so cute. Maybe I have to be someone else to name them. Play, care, affection, reinforcement. Um, I don't know how to rename them. I know that there's a way. I just don't know how to do it right now. Um, if anybody knows how to do that, can you please leave a comment down below? I would really appreciate that. I actually don't know how to rename them. <clears throat> But I wanted to name the boy Galileo because uh, Galileo was an astronomer and, you know, like Archimedes was a, uh, was a philosopher, I believe. So kind of keeping on the same lines, I wanted to give the boy cat a name like that. And the girl cat was actually a name that you guys suggested. And I'm going to save that until we actually name them. So um, I will keep you posted. Leland, are you not coming up here? Like what seems to be the problem? Are you stuck? buddy are you stuck okay sorry that was something that we used to have to say in high school we had this one I had this one teacher that that's that was what they would always say like we all had partners in class and whenever somebody looked like they were struggling you were supposed to turn to your buddy your specified buddy and say buddy are you stuck <laughs> it actually worked out pretty well for a math class okay let's see um let's go ahead and try romantic first let's have him give her romantic red flowers that'll be tender whoa game stop tripping i really would just like to get a better view here there we go okay so he's gonna give her some flowers oh she seemed happy with that Okay, let's try a heat of the moment kiss. I love how it still says ex-girlfriend. Like, it'll be that way probably forever. Like, I don't think it ever changes to friends or anything like that. Like, it'll be ex-girlfriend until they are no longer exes. Um, let's see. Romantic. Can I propose going study? Like, is that something? Oh, amorous hug let's try that one yes we know isla is a great kisser i really want their relationship to go farther so that's something i'm gonna continue to work on <gasps> Look, okay so we got like a ton of others let's do embrace and let's see what else do we got here embrace we can do another dip kiss because we all know how much i love that and i think it's adorable we can do massage oh the dip kiss is so cute and i love that they can't be bothered like only the cats could come up here and they're not really a bother so make out blah 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 um sure why not let's make out let's make out let's make out whisper in ear uh, what else do we got? Confess attraction. And is there seriously? He doesn't have a proposed going study. Is that something I have to? I'm just surprised it's taking so long. I wonder if she could do it. Oh, sorry. My dad is outside. Oh, wait. Can she do it? No, it doesn't. Oh, maybe here. No, she can't do it either. That's so weird. Um, yeah, that is really weird. Is their relationship like too maxed out to get any new? I really wanted them to be boyfriend, girlfriend, and it doesn't seem to be working. That's weird. Hmm. 
Like previously stated, maybe she has to do it. Whoa, I forgot that when he does that, he's the one that leaps. Whoopsies. Uh, let's go special? No, romantic. Seriously? Let's have her do some stuff and see what happens. Um, yeah, I really wanted them to be boyfriend, girlfriend. I just don't know if it's going to happen. Oops, no. Even if she has to ask, I don't really mind. Am I blind? Like, is it here and I just don't see it? Uh, let's make out again, because why not? Confess attraction. I think I just did that, but I'm doing it again. <laughs> um, we'll embrace again. Let's do it. Let's, let's have her dip kiss him, because that'll be funny. Hmm. Maybe they have to, like, woohoo before they can be BF boyfriend, girlfriend. We can see... Hmm. Or maybe it just takes a really long time. Well, they don't have any of, like, the negative moodlets, you know? Let's see. Still nothing? I'm really surprised. Um. Let's see. Huh. I can woohoo with him. Let's try that. Let's see if that will get us to the next stage. <laughs> if not, we'll leave it alone for a little bit and go back to it. I was kind of thinking I wanted to maybe change Isla's clothes or her hair or something just for fun. Like not necessarily change the color or anything, but what is wrong with you? Are we not able to get in the shower? Is it broken? Did I place it wrong? I might have. Um, how come we can't just like woohoo? Why is that not an option? Let's see. I could just have them both go relax and do it there. Relax. Okay, and then after this, if the option doesn't come up, I'm going to go see what everyone else is doing. Sorry, I'm like, what do you what do you say? What do you say when people are about to relax for the woo woo? I guess um, I don't even know if it's gonna work. He might or she might say no. Let's see. Okay. Um, can we woo woo? What's this? Have fortune told. No, thank you. What is that? A flask? Oh, no. It's a text message thing. It looks like a flask. <laughs> uh, do a strength workout. That's a good one. What are hers? Socialize with Supernatural. Send it. Who is Carrie Hacker? Probably the mascot. Yay. Woohoo. Oh, her hair. Oh, it's because she puts her jammies on, I think. I'm all, her hair looks weird. Okay, maybe we'll get the option now. Um, cuddle. Let's cuddle. Well, we're still exes. Okay. I'm going to leave that alone. They woohooed. That's kind of where they are right now. They do share the room and stuff. So maybe we'll get to the boyfriend girlfriend stage later. Whoa game. I think it freaks out in Island Paradise also because it has to render the water too. And maybe that's really hard on it. I don't know. What is River doing? Dude, you are all about this imaginary friend. I need to delete this thing before it like comes to life on me. Whoa, River. Nice hair, Cray. Your hydration's getting kind of low. Can we just have you, like, swim away? Can you just do that? Why don't you go for a swim? Just, just go do that. No one wants you here. 
I'm almost ready for that girl to move out of our house. She just causes too many problems. Uh, I wonder how the kitties are doing. Oh, what's wrong with the little baby? Oh, look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> Can I rename you now? No. Boo. Let's have them play. Let's have them chase. Because they'll be cute. Oh, this one's in the litter box. Oh, no, Archimedes in the litter box. My bad. My bad. Oh, <laughs> do you hear them meowing? They're so cute. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I love cats. <laughs> oh, they don't like each other. You're siblings. You're supposed to love each other. What is wrong with you? Wait, was that Archimedes? Why did I feel like he looked weird? Medes, since when have you been a fluffy cat? Wait, 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 wait. I don't recall him being a big old fluff ball. Do you guys remember that? Was he always really fluffy? Whoa. Oh my goodness. I cannot get this view right. No, I guess he looks right. That was weird. Where is Meaties going? Apparently go take a sleepies. Um, and what are you doing? Going to get some snackage. Prepare sushi. All right. You go eat your people, girl. <laughs> your people of the sea. And we have him trying to go to the bathroom. When do you start school? Oh, wait, no. Sorry. I'm like trying to click on her from there. Um, what are you doing? Okay, you're cleaning up. And we have River out here taking a swim. I figured she should do that because her hydration was down and she had a salt deficiency before we moved. So that was a thing. Yeah, I want to know when she starts school. She starts school in 14 hours. There's a part of me that almost wants to send her to boarding school just until she's like a teenager. <laughs> I'm not really a huge fan of the children sims. I like the teenagers because you have like the fun experiences with them. And I really like the uh, the teenager. What else? The teens are fun. The babies. I like the babies and the toddlers. I'm not a huge fan of the children. <laughs> kind of like real life. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. I really wanted more to happen with them, and it's just not happening right now. Oh, what are you doing? Share a secret. Okay. Oh, look, she made sushi. Oh, that's awesome. Probably should have everybody eat. Let's go ahead and have you grab a plate. Let's have you go grab a plate, too. And why not, River? You should get in here and come eat, too. Is it just me or does everybody miss the Hunger Games? <laughs> the next episode should be debuting or the next season, Princess Games 2.0, should be debuting next Friday, which I think is like August. I can tell you. I know it's August something. Um, August... Let's see. It should be, I think, the 1st of August is when I'm planning. Whoa. Whoa. Game glitch. Game glitch. Sorry. I just looked up from my calendar and River is in here with her fin on. She like swam into the house. Girl, this house is not underwater. What are you doing? You can't swim and eat. Can you? Is that a thing you can do? Whatever. I will allow this. She just, she, like, totes just did. I'm gonna let her keep doing it. I think it's funny. Cool. I'm pretty sure that's a glitch and I'm supposed to fix her, but I am I will allow this. I wonder if she can sleep with her fin on. Or, like, take a nap. Let's find out after she's done doing dishes. <laughs> Guys, this is hilarious. Oh my gosh. If she takes a nap with her fin on, that is going to be hilarious. I think she will. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not going to fix that. I'm going to just let her do it. 
Oh, she went back to having like leg fins. That was really funny. <laughs> I've never seen that happen. Where'd the kitties go? Oh, there's one. There's one little kitty. They're so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. Look at them run around there. <laughs> this one was just like face plant. That was adorable. Sorry, I want to maybe have, um, I don't want you to work out right now. Can you not do that? What are you doing? No, I want you to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Why won't you do it? <gasps> maybe now? Nope. We can make out though. Let's try that. They don't even have like moodlets from having an awesome woohoo. I wonder if I need to reset them. Because River's obviously having some problems, too. Let's try that. Um, testing cheats enabled true. And then um, we need to do reset sim. And that should just reset all of them. Right? Isn't that how that works? Um, I was pretty sure. Why do I feel like that didn't work? What is this? No monsters. Okay, cool. Um, hold on. Reset sim. No. I think that is how you do it. I just don't know why it didn't work. It should have reset all of them. Maybe it's reset sims. Reset sims. Nope. Guys, I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> well, it seems like all their stats are pretty dang high. Hold on. Let's go. Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? River. She's still trying to sneak up on Ava when Ava was already scared, you brat. I can hear them going, meow, meow. It's adorable. I know I said that already. Um, let's see. Uh, deal with it, River. She's all pissed off. Okay, if this doesn't work, I basically just spent an entire episode trying to get them to be together, and it is just not working. And I don't know why. That's okay, though. I don't think it's going to work for some reason. You know what, though? Sometimes this game gets wonky. Like, if you just go into create a sim and then come out of it, sometimes that helps. So I'm going to go ahead and go into edit create a sim really quick. There is actually a new hairstyle. I want to see if it looks good on Isla. So that maybe we could kind of start phase one of her phase one of her uh, new transformation. I don't want to do anything too crazy. Like I probably keep her makeup and her hair color the same. I just thought it would be kind of fun to play around. I did get a new hairstyle though. Like I said, that I'd like to see if it looks good. And my game hates creative sim, so. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's just a hair color. I didn't realize. I thought it was like an actual hair. Cause see, I, ooh, that looks way cool. Maybe I will change her hair color. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let me see if I got this new style though too. What's this one? Oh, that looks cool. I'm digging this hair color. I got it for a reason for something that's coming out on Sunday, but maybe this one? 
Huh, I don't even think I knew I had that. I don't think I have the hairdo I was looking for though. That looks really cool too. I might just keep this color. This color looks awesome. Like it looks good on every hairstyle I've put it. Ooh, look at that one. That looks really cool. And that one. Dude, these all look awesome. I am so digging this hair color. I think we'll just leave it like that because I still recognize her with short hair, but then like giving her teal tips, I think is really cool. So I'm actually going to leave that. Yeah, I've totally had this happen to me before, though, where the game was just being really, really, really wonky. And I just had to go into create a sim and then go back out and it fixed. Like, I think I wanted my sim to get married or have a baby or something and nothing was working. So maybe that will help. Um, I don't think it did. I'm still not getting that option. I really, 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 really want them to be boyfriend, girlfriend, and it's just not working. And we don't have eight people in our household, so, and even if we did, it's not like they're trying to have a baby, you know? So, yeah, maybe you guys could let me know what's up with that, too, because we just spent, like, an entire episode trying to get them to be together, and it's not working. <laughs> maybe they're just not meant to be. <laughs> How could I say that? They are totally meant to be. Anyways, guys, I think this episode has ran on long enough. The next episode is going to be a pretty exciting one, so be sure that you stay tuned. And don't forget to leave comments down below for me about uh, renaming the cats and also about how to fix their relationship so they can actually be together. All right. Thanks so much for watching. This is Sims 3 Copper Fox signing off.